Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Preeb, and I am the creator of the blog entitled Parks Are Like Icebergs that appears on Substack and is free. Uh, I share 30 plus years of urban parks planning and urban park service operationalization in, in the Edmonton area. Um, and I also share and uh, draw on my practitioner experience in my recently completed uh, PhD studies that looked at parkland decision making in Edmonton in the 1960 to 210 period. So you'll notice by the title, I am characterizing what's happening to our green spaces or publicly valued green spaces in both Ontario and Alberta. They are precarious land uses because economic interests are are uh, advancing on them and, and are using various uh, ways to redevelop them for urban purposes in both circumstances, arguing using sustainable city rhetoric that that argues basically uh, we, we, they need these lands for affordable housing. Um, I'm not here to, uh, in this vlog, to uh, litigate or, re or prosecute why they're right or wrong in both Ontario currently and what's happened since 2006 and continues today in, in Edmonton. Uh, I instead, I want to make you aware of how the legislation uh, and our planning, land use planning processes can either facilitate uh, honest, open, um, transparent discussions about different values and needs um, or how they can be manipulated to hide certain pieces of information. So uh, you'll see below, I discussed the Ontario example in, in, in detail and I've also attached the a couple of reports from Ontario when the uh, auditor's report and the integrity commissioner's report it talks about the process and how it happened, or, um, and and then I have a deeper dive into the Edmonton Park uh, surplusing decision making drawn from my PhD dissertation. And in both cases, the legislation has been used while it, while it can be used to to facilitate honest, open uh, discourse with the community. In those cases, in the in these examples, they were not. And it's because they can, they being elected officials and administrators can ma manage the processes in ways that are, are not very transparent if they choose. My experience, quite frankly, is, is in many ways is two things that seem conflicting, but they're not really. Um, most elected officials and administrators act ethically uh, uh, and and uh, transparently as much as they can. Um, but the underlying processes, the, it's the, the way land use decision-making uh, occurs today is significantly driven by economic interest, developer interest, a large capital holding interest at the expense of uh, social, economic, ecological goods and services. Um, so, and 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 that happens in in plain sight, and it happens in ways that you you don't even know it's is occurring. So I will leave that with you. But that that's what my blog is about today. And again, I'm flagging the precarity of our publicly valued green spaces and urban planning processes in both Ontario and Alberta. Thank you.